What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And today, guys, we do have some market content as per usual. Before we get into the video, let's get 120 likes on the video. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you could please drop that sub because we're getting closer and closer to 8K and closer and closer to 10K. Thanks to you guys. Also... If you guys want to follow my Twitter, we do post a lot on there. We also do giveaways for MT, and also we are buying and selling MT. So if you want to buy and sell MT, make sure to hit me up in my Twitter. Description is down below. Also, I have an IG if you do have IG and don't have Twitter. So make sure to follow both those, and let's get into the video, man. So as you guys do know, we did get the new content that has not dropped yet. Will it affect the market? The answer is no. Here's why. The content's simply not good, um, in my opinion. Obviously, yeah, there's some budget ballers in there. There's Galaxy Oval Booker. But uh, I went over the stats and the new content. My opinion, if you're going to go for it, it's up to you. In my opinion, the content's not that good. Um, here's why. So, in my opinion, Devin Booker's not going to be useful at the one. Because everybody in my stage, at least with my team... Um, pretty much everybody is using Tracy McGrady and Giannis and Ben Simmons and uh, Isaac, pretty much all the tall point guards who are bigger than Booker. So if you're going to run Booker at the one, you come across Giannis, have fun, bro. Like literally have fun. He's going to get clamped up. Giannis is the best point guard in the game, bro. Same with Simmons. Two best point guards right here, period. No one ever, no one could even stop them. Luka at point guard two, solid two. My opinion, Luka gets beat by Giannis and Simmons, so I put Luka at the two covering T-Mac, which is as per usual. But let's get into some market. Um, first off, bro, if you haven't sold your cards, I'm going to keep saying this because something big's coming this week. All I know is that when they drop content on a Monday at Spotlight Sim, that means they usually got buzzer beaters coming Tuesday, possibly Super Packs Wednesday or Thursday, and a big drop Friday. Honestly... I could see Leap Year 2. I could see some type of Easter promo. Something big's coming this week because, honestly, the content wasn't really good that last week. We had Prime Packs. Prime Packs are usually trash. They're not really juiced. If they have, like, a new hype promo, like the Fan Favorites, if they drop Fan Favorites 2 or if they drop a new promo, that's where it gets hype. We need to see something different. Usually, they drop something different every other week. Usually, it goes Prime and then something new. Prime, something new. Prime, something new. The Prime Week is the week where you shouldn't really sell your team. When the new stuff comes, which is going to be this week, I'm telling you, the new stuff comes, market crash happens. So right now, I'm going to tell you guys, simply sell your team. It's the best thing I could offer. It's the best accurate opinion. Not even an opinion. It's the best accurate fact. So if you want to listen to me, I would sell your Opals unless you have those Opals that are like 400K like Simmons. Yeah, you could sell them. But here's the thing. Um... You have to remember there is 10% reduction. So it's completely up to you. They did have that Ben Simmons free prime pack. I pulled the gold. Realistically, you guys aren't going to get anything good. But the best time to sell your opals is honestly, if you play a lot, is checking how much is on the auction. So for instance, the other day I sold my Mellow for 430. There was literally two on the market. I got a Kareem for like 300 something. I sold them for 480 the other day because... There was literally, for some reason, no Kareems in the auction. There was three Kareems. So, for Opals, I would recommend checking what they're selling for before selling. For Pink Diamond Buyables, I would just sell because Pink Diamond Buyables always go down in value. They always come out with some crazy budget card Pink Diamond cheese that always drops value. For instance, Ralph Sampson was around 50k or 60k, 70k. He's now down a lot because they dropped all these new centers. The Minute Bowl, in my opinion, is the best center in the game. And also, shout out to one of my subs, Manute Bowl Sapphire. If you do have him, I'm going to show you his price, and you're going to be like, yo, what the frick is going on? Um, You should probably sell him, because what the hell? There's two on the market. So if you have Manute Bowl, I sold mine at 30k, completely regret it. This is probably the most rare card in the game, and it's crazy because they have a pink diamond. But for set-wise, for people going for GOAT collector level... If you have this card, I would recommend selling. I can't believe how rare this card is. 
all the frostbite packs that they've dropped in the locker codes and this card's still that rare i guess this card's like not even in the frostbite packs because they dropped a ton of locker codes with the frostbite packs i guess to drop the price of this bowl they failed at doing so so this menu bowl is that rare if you guys have the patience you could honestly sit on this filter if you end up sniping one you're gonna make 100k ah uh, one of my subs sent me a picture he sold them for 180,000 mt so one tip for you guys bro minute bow yeah sell him um they do have the new pick down like i said but yeah i don't know why the sapphire is going for so much so let's go over pricing so i'm gonna go over everything because i have everything in my head i've been on this game all day i've been non-stop playing unlimited non-stop losing at 8 no 7 no 11 no 10 no i lost at every win i got so close about five times this month and i haven't got there you know what i'm getting better at the game i'm not the best i'm pretty good when I'm locked in, I could be a very good player, but we'll get there. I'm learning my releases. I got my team set. We're going to get there. We're going to get 12 and all. I'm not going to give up. It's very hard, but let's go over pricing. First off, bro, big W's because Iverson is not a buyout. Caruso is not a buyout. Jamal Crawford's up 40K. Trey Young is still a buyout. That's the L. So I've been working with the Opal Western filter. This has been the filter that has been money for me. Um literally this is pretty much the only uh lasting filter opal wise so if you guys want to hop on the opal filter that's cool i would recommend western obviously galaxy opal regular is not going to work because you know trey young bro they had to drop this trey young but whatever um we're gonna go over every price like straight up quickly curry's up 30k he was at two he's up 50k he was actually at 200 180 friday he's at 250 he went up perzingis is around the same price uh, unless this gets bidded at around the same price. AI is up 30k. Jamal Crawford was at 130k at night. He's now at 170. These prices are kind of based off the last couple days, I would say. Nighttime, always cards are cheaper. If you want to buy cards at the night, it's a good time to do so. And then again, Friday, market crash. Just remember that. I'm going over this quick because I'm crazy when it comes to the market. I know every single price in the book. Taco Fall around the same price. You're going to see him rock around 220, 180 always. He's never really going to change. Luka Doncic actually went up. He was around 270 last night. He's around 320 plus. So that's a W. I think he goes up to 400K because it's Luka. He's hype. Patrick Ewing, around the same price as per usual, 180, 200. He was a little cheaper. He did rise a little bit. Um, let's see. We got, let's just go Galaxy Opal. Um, let's go Eastern. So Eastern wise, let's see, um, Taco Fall already said that Kyrie around the same price as per usual. Ben Simmons actually did drop a little bit. Carter's around the same price. Um, pretty much everyone's around the same price. Like I said, bro, if there's not a lot of market movement the whole week, you know what's coming guys. You know what's coming. This week is the different week, bro. It goes, it's, it's literally the trends of 2k. I've been playing this game since 2k 13, bro. Um, I've been playing this game every single day since day one it dropped. So their trends are clear. Um, they dropped something OP and then something trash. Something OP, something trash. In my opinion, the Prime wasn't trash, but it kind of was because it didn't really cause a market crash. If if the content's not causing a market crash, it's not good content, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all we got for the East. Every, every card's looking around the same price. Um, let's check out Western, I guess. Atlantic western whatever you guys want to do in my opinion i would not i would recommend selling before market crash does happen because it's going to happen dirk's around the same price pretty much every card besides magic johnson and mellow they're actually skyrocketing i guess that cat is worth it personally in my opinion i'm not really the biggest fan of cat i clamped him up with the new center bull bull clamped him up with him andre Karolenko. now let me tell you i got him for 100k I was going to sell him at night for 210. I waited literally a couple hours till the next day. Guess what happened? He went up to 270. So Colonel Lenko is at his max value. If you want to sell your Colonel Lenko, it's probably a good time to do so. In my opinion, I'm not a fan of him. You could pick up KD for a little bit more and he's a lot better. Um, Pink Diamonds, bro. I'm just going to say this right now. This KD was at a buyout not too long ago or at 100K bid. Get rid of him, bro. It's only a matter of time till he drops. It's KD Pink Diamond. There's an Opal. He's going to drop. Sell him. If you want to sell your Prime 2 cards, I would recommend that too. Um, Pink Diamond Trey. Told you to sell him a while ago. If you didn't, he's going to be dirt cheap because there's an Opal now. Dino Rogers, the GOAT. 
He's probably going to go up in value. Everybody has him, bro. If you go online, I think everybody has this card. I posted a gameplay on him. It has 2K views. DVG posted a gameplay. This card is the best center in the game, in my opinion. Giannis and him combined at power forward center is disgusting. So, yeah. Honestly, that is all we got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Just some heads up for you guys. I just know big content's coming this week. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Make sure to hit me up for MT. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.